always something. <laughs> Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. Good morning again, as I said. Uh, God bless you all. Know that you are loved, honored, and appreciated. I'm thankful to uh, to be here today. What another day. See, when I wake up every morning in, in my mind, I'm constantly reminded that, that, I, that I have another opportunity to do something that, that I've never, ever, ever done before. And that's serve him better than I ever have. To give him my, give him my best praise, to give him my best uh, worship, and to and to give him the best respect possible that I ever can give him. Today is the day that I go higher. Today is the day that I press harder. Today is the day that I that I don't give up. Today is the day that I help somebody else go to the next level. And, and today is the day where I don't settle just for anything. Remember, we're in we're in the we're in the work day sixteen of our worship experience. We are being purged we are being converted into like-minded believers as we study the word of God and go forward in the word of God knowing that we can do it do you know let me encourage you if you didn't know this morning you can do it it was so great about that is that we can do it together it doesn't just mean what's for you what's for me it means what God has for us all are, are you willing to take advantage of your opportunity today doesn't matter what yesterday was. I'll tell you and say that over and over again. If you are here today and you can take a breath and you can exhale, you have another opportunity to change everything in your life. I don't care what's been wrong, what has happened in your life. I'm living proof, my brother and my sister, that God can save you and change your life. No matter what it is, God can move on your behalf if you just trust him. If you decide to lean on him and rely on him and follow him. So now we're here. We're here. Come on in the playground. Let's let's move forward as we as we as we press to, to having a stronger thirst, to having a, a, a stronger desire for wanting to wake up in my mind and get up in my thinking and move in my purpose. It, it, it shouldn't just be me having a tag. I used to tag everybody. And first of all, my pastor said to me, he said, he said, if, if what God is, what God has pushed purpose for you, you know, what? just go and do what God called you to do. All the extras is good. And I know you want people to know. He said, but just do what God called you to do. Then the people that are there are the ones that are excited as you are to get the same level of relationship with God as you do. I had to drop the mic. <laughs> I had to submit and I had to repent and say, Lord, forgive me for trying to get people to be like me. But Lord, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share and be an example of how to be like you. <laughs> oh, if there's nothing else I can do, I want to be like him. And that's something else that you should thrive for. That's something else that you should press toward is to be just like Jesus. Jesus healed. Jesus forgave. Jesus loved. Jesus did miracles. We're just here to do greater works in what he's already done. See, see, you, think about that. Now, we're, I know we're backtracking a little bit, probably three or four weeks on John 14, 12. But he says, if you believe in me and the works that I do, you will do also. And he said, greater works that you will do. Well, you got to understand the works that still doesn't change because you became a worker. You just became a worker of what's been worked. That's going to drop on somebody heavy real fast right there. We are just working the, the, the plan that has already been set in place. But you must have the same thirst. You must have the same desire. Remember, I, we, you were supposed to be examining, exa, ex, examining yourself. We talked about that on Monday, that it was a self-examination time to say, what are you drawing unto yourself? What, what is your environment? What, what, are you, what are you paying attention to? That, that was your assignment on Monday. And I looked deeply in the mind and I saw, okay, I'm doing pretty good because God is shifting some things because I have a standard 
of what I am looking for and what I'm going to settle for. The works that have already been done. Greater works will you do. That means you can hold on. You can go through. You can sustain and stand in the evil days with the evil times. <laughs> oh my God. God is moving right now in your life for now times. Now is the time to get this thing right. Now is the time to go to the next level. Now is the time to pull somebody else up with you. This is the time that you get thirsty. Today, our, our little sub subtitle. Remember, we're, we're talking about corridoring. But as when a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So what you pay attention to, that's what's inside of you. That's now what you produce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you producing? What, what, what is your environment? What, what, what does it look like? Did, did you take notes? And can you come back and honestly say, that's good for me? Some of us had to make some shifting <laughs> since Monday. Some of us had to make some changes and things like that to say, I need to be more accountable of what I'm paying attention to. No, not, not what people are trying to get me to pay attention to. They go, people are going to do what they do, but what are you allowing yourself to pay attention to? Because that spirit, oh my God, will come and live in you. Then you draw unto you the likeness of your heart. You're wondering why things look so chaotic? Because you draw on the likeness of your heart. Now don't get beat up on yourself and don't say I'm beating up on you either because I'm not. I'm just trying to keep it so real so if the shoe fits, you can go in and wear it in pride and know then that all you have to do is make a change, a shifting, a renewing, and a, a directional change to say no longer will I live by the world, but I'm going to live by you, God. And I'm going to really hold myself accountable to paying close attention to what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're really a good preacher, you understand that you always preaching to yourself. <laughs> if you are a great man of God and you are doing the things of God, and I'm not one to judge nobody, I'm, I work on me. But if you are understanding and growing in your ministry, you understand that you are your ministry. <laughs> Other people follow because they, they gravitate to the Jesus in you. Jesus had a charisma that people wanted to be around. Jesus had a spirit where he could go into any environment. Bloods, crips, uh, gangsters, disciples, left, right, up and down. He could go into any, he had a charisma, he had a spirit about him that he could go into the murderers and into the jails, into the, into the dark places. And it looked like he would just belong there, but his light shined. My God, see, 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 see. Knowing that you draw unto you the likeness of your heart. See, he says, draw unto me, all you who labor. See, we must draw in our labor. We must draw in our attention. Oh, I know I'm preaching this morning. See, you got to draw to him and you got to know that you can. And stop listening to people that tell you can't. Because I'm going to tell you today, you can. If I can, you can, especially. I'm the, oh yeah, I'm a perfect example that if he could do it, he'd do it because he did it. I am living proof that Jesus Christ is Lord. But are you? Now, so you took your, you took your, 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 your inventory. You looked at, you evaluated and, and, and did your own self-examination. And then you had to really be honest with yourself and say, I can do better. Because I did. Yes, all that Mr. Holier than you thought was thou. I ain't nobody. I'm just Pastor E, always watching and, 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 and evaluating me. Because you can easily get slipped up in some things just trying to be you. That's going to catch up and drop in five, four, three. Oh, it came early. Okay, thank you. See, 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 when you get caught up in you, things go haywire. When you get caught up in, in self you don't have no 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 rain. You, when, when, when you, oh my God! Here, let me tell you about when I get involved. Boop! You might as well go left. Get away from me. 
But when Christ is in me, see, now you see that, 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 that attractiveness, that, 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 uh, that, 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 that draw. Because not is it me who lives, but Christ who lives. But who lives in you? See, when you evaluate yourself, now you got to go repent and say, Lord, forgive me. I've been tripping. I've been letting all that stuff up in me. Oh, my God. All this, all my, all my uh, past files, all my, all my culture and authority, all my neighborhood stuff, all, 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 all my, uh, uh, my five senses, all my everything. Let, let me tell you, let me tell you something. God, forgive me for being so selfish. <laughs> Forgive me for being all about myself. See, we can preach on that one. Forgive me for looking not out for others, but looking out for my own. Forgive me. See, that's all you got to do. Bam. Now you move, you, 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 you shifted out of the me and now into the him. Now when you shift into the him, you are now in a zone where it's God dwelling in you because you dwell in him. Remember, get up and wake up in your mind is that you abide in him. We can always go back to John 15. Read that chapter. I read it weekly. Maybe that's why I preach on it on every sermon because it ties into everything. John 15 is the understanding of how you must be purged. How you must be converted. If you want to be in the kingdom of heaven. Well, I know I do. My whole goal is to be with Jesus. And if it's today, I know he had a plan. And I know he did. I did what I was supposed to do to be received into his glory. But I, I, he ain't finished with me yet. Because I'm still working on me. See, it's not about building these cathedrals and building these audiences and building these numbers. No, it's about building me so I could be prepared for the reunion so I could be, oh my God, I'm about, oh, I almost fell out the chair. So I could be re prepared for the, for the greeting. So I could be prepared for the opening and the windows of heaven coming open and saying, come on, son, job being faithful and well done. Come and worship me. And I'm praying I'm already in that position of acknowledging what it's going to take to worship him in spirit and in truth. Not when he comes, before he even gets here. Not before he shows up to be already ready. And to be so attentive to myself that I don't let me fall. I know you got my back. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. And I'm so glad you got my back. That it's just in case I can't keep me in control, but I can keep me in control. I will not go back. I'm glad you pray for me, but I know how to pray for myself. My God, see, I want you to pray with me, not for me. Because if you call me and if you know me, Pastor, I need you. I don't, well, well, hold on. I stopped and hit the brakes right along. I'll be like, are you already in agreement? Are you calling me with a spirit of agreement that we believe by faith already without speaking word that it's done? That's the, then I'm ready. Let's go. Now, praying for you is always being an intercession for you and your ability to grow to another level. See, be, that, that you have the same opportunity to not stay stagnant, but to grow to another level. Oh, go on and lift your hands on that one. Go on and receive both of them on that one. You better get that anointed on that one. And God is pulling you and saying, draw unto me. Watch this, Isaiah chapter 55. My God, see, you got to change your environment and you got to get your different, you got to get, get different taste buds. You got to get different appetites. You got to get different diets. Oh my God, you got to get a different mindset that you know that when trouble comes, it ain't going to be here long because you ain't going to let it affect you. When, when obstacles show up, oh no, you ain't going to stay there. You're going to look over for the opportunity. Oh no, 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 no. When opposition comes, you're going to just say, oh no, no, peace be still. Hold on, God got a word. <laughs> and not a word, but from every word of the mouth of God. Let's talk about it. Things will get right. Let's talk about it. Things will get in order. Oh yes, 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 yes. 
it will it will get in a balance. The equilibrium will show up where there's not an offset, but it is a balance. Oh, now belief and faith are back in order. But oh, when you get some balance in your life, your belief and your faith are strong. You ought to raise your hand on that one too. <laughs> Woo! Gee, oh, let's say it dropped. <laughs> it dropped right now. See, because you are his child. Come on, conversion. Come on, that's what we're doing over here in the playground. Oh, yeah, we play together because we know the word of God is going to make it right. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you have no money, come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what, for what is not bread? And your wages for what does not satisfy. Listen carefully to me and eat what is good. Stop right there. Stop right there. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. When you're converting, it's not what you do, it's what you're putting in. Because whatever you're putting in is exactly what's coming out. <laughs> I don't care how you look at that. Take it left, take it right, but take it honestly. Whatever you put in is what comes out. So if I'm spending my time eating physically, not physically, now, let's not even go physically, spiritually. I'm eating spiritually. And everything I'm paying attention to with my eyes is negative. What am I putting in? Type it in the, in the, in, <laughs> type it in the, in the comments. Okay, okay. If, if, if I put my headphones on and everything I'm listening to is evil, what am I putting in? Okay, okay, let's go to another level. What if everything I'm touching ain't right? What's going in? What's going in? Watch, me. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. If everything I'm eating ain't good, ooh, what comes out? See, 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 what you put in is it is up to you to change your diet. My God. See, see, we talking about corridor. You wonder why the same people look and smell and sound the same way you do? Because they see you putting in the same thing. They get to put in the same thing because they try to be just like you. But when you learn to be drawn to God and for him to be drawn to you. You know that it's the spirit of God that gives liberty. You know it's the spirit of God that gives freedom. You know it's the spirit of God that will set you and the captives free. My God. I, oh, yeah. Well, I'm on it this morning. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to my version of when he's, when I'm, when, when he's really speaking to me. Because I, I tell you where I'm at. I'm, a, I'm watching. I'm, I'm paying attention to what he, how he's using me. I'll listen later to get my word, but watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch what you put in. Watch this. Uh, listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. See, he ain't talking about no 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 uh chicken and no and, and, and no lobster. He's talking about a spiritual appetite. Watch this. Incline your, incline your ear and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Now stop right there, my God. I'm about to spin around and flip around up in this thing because you know that word covenant. When God makes a covenant, you can stand on that promise. Because it ain't something ever done before. It ain't something ever duplicated. It ain't nothing replicated. It is something never, ever been done before. Watch this. Watch this. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Verse 3. The sure mercies of David. Indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people. A leader and a commander commander for the people. Surely you shall call a nation you do not know, a nation 
who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God. See, you ain't got to run and change nothing about what you do to reach people. All you got to do is learn how to line up with the promises of God. Oh my God, I, ooh, I almost went into one right there. When you lean on the promises of God, oh no, he going to draw men to you because it's not you being lifted up. <clears throat> it's him being lifted up. Watch this, watch this, watch this. And the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. Oh, no, no. If you didn't catch that one, drop now. It, it's, he's talking to you too. I know you, you thought this was just a Holy Ghost uh, network and, and we were just tagging people that we believe in. No, I hope it's one person out there that got on here that said, I didn't believe this before I heard, heard this revelation. I didn't know it was all about me getting my life together. I thought this was about a, a church setting and I thought this was about building buildings and a, I thought this was about conferences and book sales. No, it's about building you into the God, into the man of God, the, man, the woman of God, the child of God. Let's keep it. No, hold on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you, the believer, rise up, stand up tall, and, and, and don't think, you, you cannot take advantage. I know we can lean on scriptures because he's not slack to his promises and, 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 and God won't forsake you or leave you. But we're talking about you getting you together that, that, that you don't have to blame God if you fail. <laughs> That's going to drop. That didn't take five seconds. That dropped right there. You don't have to put the, the blame on God when things go left field no more. You can hold yourself accountable because you know if you would have done right, right things would have happened. If you would have put the right things in, you would have known to say the right things. If you would have listened to the right things, the, the right sound would have came out. If you would have tasted the right things, smelled the right things, and felt the right things, you now have directed your senses not to physicality of this world. Be not conformed to this world senses, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind spirit, that now you can dwell with God and understand God and relate with God. Remember to have a relationship with God, you must worship him. We started that on Monday to spirit and in truth. You can't worship in his spirit and in truth if you don't sacrifice, if you don't learn how to materialize that through your, through your, through your, through your obligation. Through your, your relationship, your relationship with him and through your bond with him because you made it understood that you serve a jealous God and you're not going to have him even have to even have to, to compete with nothing else. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to put that on my God no more that he got to compete with somebody else. I'm going to pay attention to him. He got all of my attention. Every, every, every fiber. Every cell, every DNA, every fragment, every hair, every every molecule, he has my full attention because I want to worship him in spirit and then in truth. Oh, and I'm going to let you know in truth that he's waiting for you. But know that nothing's promised. When you can't get yourself in order and understand that it's about you, you finally have to. And I, I know I don't, I don't have a lot of following people who stop in, but when I get to talking about what you're going to do, what you're going to do, what you're going to do, they drop off. And, 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 and we're not about if one person, even if you come here every week and if one person leaves here different, I did what I was supposed to do. So I already know, watch this, I already know that I did what I was supposed to do because I'm different. And this is changing me. Because that's the number one, uh, 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 the, the num number one object is myself. Watch this. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And our God 
and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than yours thoughts. For as the rain come down in the snow from the heaven, and do not return there, but water to earth, and make it bring forth a bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Family. This still ain't about you. <laughs> This still ain't about you. This is you being able to take advantage of what's already been done. I love it when it gets to the word, okay? Because God's word is true. Let's just get that. Let's just, we're going to end the day on this one. We're going to end the day on this part right here. God's word is true. With you or without you. With me or without me. We really aren't here to even prove or to even debate or to even question. Okay. I believe the word of God is true. It will not return to him void. Okay. So, so, so when in my believing that I have to know, to know and, and, and do my study to, um, what is the word? Oh, come on. Y'all know the word is Jesus. The word was made manifest to man. And now the word in truth can be worshiped. See, you got to have a spiritual relationship and you got to have a, wor a, a word relationship. And in that spirit and truth relationship, it's about you knowing that it's true. The most important thing is you must believe. And we can't go any further anytime with, if we don't believe. If you're, if you're dealing with your belief system, stop, hit the brakes. Don't, don't give up. Work on that. Go before the Lord and say, Lord, no, no, no. I, I know I'm trying to be more of a, of, of a scholar and I'm trying to get a degree in 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 uh, in, 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 uh, in ministry and in, in this and ministry and in, 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 uh, whatever. You better get a degree in knowing that the word is true and the word is Jesus. And you have to know without a shadow of a doubt and you have to claim it. You have to proclaim it. You have to witness it, and it must be true. So now, if, if he's saying to you right there, he says, he says, and it shall not return to me void. That's a promise. Okay, what you do, you cannot stop the word from being true. Stop it right now. <laughs> if you try to, you try to be the proof of it. You should not be the proof of it. You should be the doer of it. And without without doing and 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 exemplifying the word of God, then we're just playing games. We can preach all day and get tags and, and ah, get people all on the, ah, I'm about, ah, ah, ah. we can ask for everything and, and, and people get responsible for those things. But if we're not leaving here different in our mindset for preparation for heavenlies and not earthlies, then that's where the problem relies, all over the place. And everybody's worried about earthly possessions instead of worried about heavenly. Well, I know I've been called to the heavenly and the heavenly is in my mind. And that's where my mind can, 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 can direct my earthly. This is where my mind can, can assist me and keep me in, in, in that, that can keep me in order when I got my mind right. It works the same for you. You get your mind right, you'll see everything else. But, but, but the most important thing is if it's not returning to him void, why are we letting the word return to us void? It's kind of where are we going to end that at, right? You know, we examine, our, we examine ourselves this week in the wilderness. And I know a lot of people are over there cursing in the corner. Why are you listening to, to Aaron? <laughs> you know, wait to Moses. Why are you listening to him? We wait on Jesus to come back. Well, I'm a representative and I can only teach the word of God. Now, if I was teaching me and with my own way, then you got to shut me down. He already know he would because that's the only reason why I do what I do is to be true. 
but you got to be true, true with yourself. And do you, you know, if you really believe in God, then His word has to be, has to be, it, it has to be performing. And it, it says, it, it, but it shall accomplish what I please. Don't you know the word of God has called you great and 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 more than and 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 the the head and the and the lender and and, and the, I mean you see the word the word of God is telling you that you can do it and you're not. That's not how you throw rocks. I might have stepped on your toe. You know I, I do step on toes. I do that. I will admit that. I know because my toe be get stepped on. But if you are not, watch this. Seeing the word accomplish what he pleased something's wrong and you got to shift something and it shall prosper in the thing for which i sent it come on i know that had to drop right there i know that had to drop into you and the word is here that 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 that, that for prosperity in spirit and that you may accomplish not for what you want but what it was sent that all might Find the tree of life called Jesus Christ. And that's where we all got to get better at. Uh, even on our travels, even, even at, at the gym and even at the store and eat, every, no matter where we go, we got to get better than that. And my grandson, he was just, I'm not bragging, but you know, I keep some tracks in my back pocket at all times. One pocket somewhere. And everywhere we go, I'll meet somebody. He said, Chief, are you really serious about that? And I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know that. He said, you always see, see, when people can see consistency in you, they can also see consistency in themselves. Yeah, it's the first year. Yeah, you saw it the second year, the third. I think this is the fourth year that they've been coming out every summer. And, and he's like, man, you, you really, you real about that. Now he's becoming a young man, almost a teenager. You know how they grow up fast. But, he, but by consistency, a child can see, and that can help them become consistent. If you're not doing anything else trying to change you, you're changing yourself for somebody else. If you're not doing that, stop, hit the brakes again, and redirect, redirect. Anything I'm doing, I'm doing that I can help somebody else not do what I've done, and I've done it all wrong, all wrong. All wrong. Just keep throwing them at me. All wrong. All wrong. All wrong. But greater is he that is in me than the evil that's in the world. And if I resist me, he will flee. See, he's fleeing. He's under my foot. I know the I know the battle between me and me. I'm putting me under my foot. Simple and plain. And I'm gonna keep him there. Simple and plain. Amen. Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. We're gonna continue. This journey uh, 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 on uh, on Friday, where we conclude this week's push in the wilderness. We on day sixteen, day seventeen will be on uh, on Friday. For those getting involved, all the replays are available on my YouTube station at Pastor E two thousand YouTube station Pastor E two thousand. You can see all the replays for years. Of, I mean, there's years throughout three years of replays of Wake Up on there, but for the last I believe it's eight weeks we've been in the wilderness. No, 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 no. The, no, four, the last four weeks. This is the fifth week. The last four weeks we've been in, in the wilderness experience. You can go back and listen to those, but we're, our, our days are only counted as Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, you that's you working this too, getting your own principles put together and understanding that, that, that you're, you, you have your own new identity. You know, I have my own new identity. And that we are now understanding that our, that identity is Christ. Amen. That's why we wake up in our mind to be more like Christ. That's why we get up in our thinking to be more like Christ. That's why we get up and uh, that's why we move in our purpose to be more like Christ. Those scriptures, wake up, John 15, get up, Philippians 2, uh, move in your purpose, Matthew 28. So God bless you, family. Uh, we, we're going to continue on Friday, 9 a.m., 10, Mountain uh, 11 Central and 12 noon Eastern. Uh, but we want to open up the portion room right now. And this is a place that if you just come in on board, it, a place that we asked God, that can we can we just make a, 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 a altar, an offering, just just to give to you freely uh, everything we have. <laughs> 
take it back. I know you're blessing me, Lord, but here, take it back. And 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 and, and of course, He's blessing others because God don't you can't you you can't bless God, you can't be God, but but why not try? God has everything. He is the He is the owner, the creator of everything. You know, you cannot even compare. We ain't trying, but what we're trying, what we what we are doing, not trying. What we are doing, we're in covenant that we want to sow that that there is there is an offering from this covenant that goes out. And, 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 and if those that have been connected, you got already know this thing is busting open. Your lives should be blessed because of your free giving. I know mine is, and, 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 and there is no lack. There is no, now, is there an abundance that I'm just overdoing me? No, 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 no. We all struggling, but I tell you what, we can all be in peace in whatever God has us going through. So I'm sowing. I just give it, Lord, thank you, thank you. I know you're finna drop a, oh yeah, whatever it was, drop it. I give it into the portion room. Bless that man out there. Heal that mind. Heal that ha Alzheimer's across our nation. Ha uh, memory loss, heal it in the name of Jesus. Uh, any brain disease in the name of Jesus, heal it right now in the name of Jesus. That as the mind is healed, the body's healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I pull in. I'm working on mine. I'm steadily working on my minds. That's my ministry. I'm working. I'm, as I'm, I'm telling you, I see it all the time. Man, where did he go? Next time I see him, he dressed up, cleaned up. Man, what? Man, man, I just, man, just, man, you, man, remember you stopping by? And and I, I can tell you some testimonies of some people out there. I don't tell, I don't, I don't photograph and, and publish the uh, commercial, that part of my ministry. We do a lot out there because that's what we do. And it doesn't need to be publicized for everything. Sometimes people want you to, you know, no, man, show me. I want, you know, the before and after. And I have some before pictures. And when the after time comes, we do what they ask. But I can tell you some real life stories of people that went from pennies to, to hundreds. And it's still out there entrepreneurial and got money in their pocket every day. I'm, I'm telling you, I got witness, I'm a witness to several lives that went from the bottom to the top. <laughs> it started out with hygiene bags. I make hygiene bags and pray over them. And I oil them up and, 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 you know, when I first meet somebody, they always got a cup or something and, 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 uh, and or can they get a dollar and stuff like that or a sign? I'm a veteran and all stuff like that. And I'll give them a hygiene pack. Everybody needs hygiene. But in that, I pray, put a track in there with my number. Eventually, I'd get a number or a text and I still go by there periodically because I'm pretty routed throughout the city. And, uh, and and I can tell you testimony after testimony that new people are in them spots getting the same growing ability, mentoring from the corner. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Mentoring from the corner. That is a ministry we're part of and didn't even know it till right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Oh, we thank you uh, for receiving our offering today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the minds that have been healed right now. We thank you for the covenant partners that as they've sown, Lord, we already know. <laughs> we already know what you do. We're not expecting nothing back. We don't want anything back. We just give freely because we already know what you do. So thank you. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking, and move in your purpose. Went a, bit, a little bit farther today, but the, hey, according to the Holy Ghost, that's what we do. So we'll join you on, on Friday, the same time, 9, 10, 11, and 12 noon for wake up, get up, and move in your purpose.